Senator Wish Wilson. Thank you, uh, Acting Deputy President. I'd like to do a, uh, a very quick shout out tonight uh, to the workers and unions that I met today in Parliament House. I uh, had a fantastic meeting uh, with a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, fellows and, and Ruth from the uh, ETU uh, who came to talk to me about their picket uh, down in uh, Longford, Victoria and Gippsland, 167 days now, uh, with uh, Exxon, uh, one of the world's largest oil and gas companies. Indeed, I think it is the largest uh, oil and gas company in the world, uh, basically undermining their wages and conditions uh, using uh, loopholes in the Fair Work Act, uh, you know, sham contracts, contract companies. Uh, and they're, they're picketing uh, for their jobs and their conditions. And they pointed out to me today, and they want to point out to every other uh, senator in this place, an MP in this place, indeed to every Australian, that this company that employs them, that can't afford to pay them decent wages and conditions, this company that's penny pinching at every opportunity that it possibly can, uh, is also not paying tax in this country. Now, they say that, uh, despite being one of the largest oil and gas companies in the world, that they haven't paid a cent in corporate income tax in Australia uh, in the last two years and possibly longer. Uh, they had a revenue of $7.2 billion uh, in 2016 and had increasing uh, production and skyrocketing domestic gas prices in Australia. So they told me today that the Longford gas plant where they've had their picket now for 167 days and the related gas fields supply 19% of the east coast uh, of Australia's demand. And Exxon has stated that 2016, so uh, last year, was the highest gas production year ever. Now, they also made it, uh, it, made it clear to me that Exxon Mobil Australia, Proprietary Limited, the primary Exxon entity in Australia, is owned through subsidiaries in the Bahamas and the Netherlands. Remember the Paradise Papers? Uh, remember the, the, uh, the debates that we've had in committees and in these inquiries about multinational tax avoidance. Um, they've hid this corporate structure from the Senate inquiry into corporate tax avoidance, which I happen to be on. In fact, indeed, myself and the Greens initiated uh, that inquiry. Uh, and they failed to disclose the Dutch and Bahamas ownership in Australian filing. So the same committee that I'm on, and there are other senators in here that are on the committee, uh, will be looking at ExxonMobil. Uh, we are having hearings coming up next year, and we're going to do our job. Uh, we're going to do our job to try and hold Exxon to account, to actually pay the tax that they owe the Australian people. They also raised the, uh, the workers and the unions today also raised the issue of the petroleum resource rent tax. They want the result resource rent tax changed. Uh, $238 billion in tax credits across our uh, oil and gas companies in this country. $238 billion in tax that hasn't been paid, that's been offset, because of the overly generous, in fact ridiculously generous deductions that uh, this government and previous governments have given uh, the big polluters uh, in Australia. Imagine what we could do with $238 billion that was paid into our tax system. Um, we could actually uh, solve that's like seven or eight gonskis. It's incredible to think about how much money these oil and gas companies don't pay. And here they are, uh, here they are underpaying their workers, undercutting their working conditions. It really is outrageous. So I was really pleased to meet these guys today. Um, a special shout out to Steve uh, uh, Dargavell from the AMWU Victoria uh, branch. He's a state secretary, and uh, Ruth Kershaw from ETU Victoria, who I've had uh, many dealing with over the years, especially around um, the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, and the other uh, five uh, union reps and workers that I met today. Um, good on you guys, um, standing up for your, your rights and conditions and making sure that Australians and every member of parliament know that this giant, ExxonMobil, uh, is not paying a cent in corporate tax. And of course, they're one of the many uh, hungry uh, polluters, uh, petrochemical companies, uh, oil and gas companies in this country that don't pay uh, any petroleum resource rent tax. And why is that the case? Um, May I say very quickly, the Greens support these, these workers. We support uh, tackling multinational tax avoidance. Senator Milne, previous Senator Milne, was the first to initiate the Senate inquiry. That's led to some fantastic legislation in this place and some changes. We've got a long way to go. Uh, I and the Greens initiated the current inquiry that's looking at the petroleum resource rent tax. Uh, we heard great evidence in our hearing in Perth about how Chevron don't pay a cent tax either. They have now been tackled by the Australian Tax Office. And may I say also tonight, the Australian Tax Office, I hope, now have Exxon in their sights, and the Senate committee certainly does. 
We'll be calling the CEOs of Exxon before us to explain why they're not paying any corporate tax and why we should have this system in this country, the petroleum resource rent tax, uh, which doesn't pay a single cent to the Australian people who own those resources. Thank you, Senator. Senator